Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Vulcano and I'm the Chief of Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Surgery at Mount Sinai West in New York City. I'm Associate Professor of Orthopedics at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. And one of my greatest passions is total ankle replacements. The ankle replacement is a procedure that consists in removing the damaged uh, cartilage and bones in the ankle joint and replacing them with uh, metal implants. Who needs an ankle replacement? Certain type of patients develop severe arthritis of the ankle, and this can happen after uh, bad traumas of the ankle or in patients that have had a long-standing deformity of the foot and ankle. In other cases, it can be secondary to uh, immune conditions or even uh, blood uh, conditions. Ultimately, what happens is that the cartilage, which is the cushion that pads the ankle joint, wears down and you get what most people know as bone-on-bone -bone arthritis, where the two bones, instead of being padded by the cartilage, start rubbing against each other, and that causes a lot of pain. Patients that develop arthritis typically also lose part of the range of motion of the ankle. An ankle replacement over an ankle fusion has the advantage of preserving that range of motion. What are some of the advantages of the ankle replacement? In general, it's a quicker recovery than an ankle fusion. Again, it preserves the range of motion of the ankle joint. And by doing so, it also puts less stress on the surrounding joints uh, by the ankle, which could otherwise become arthritic um, after a variable amount of time, usually after five to 10 years. And this may require further surgery. Does that mean that the ankle replacement is the best procedure for ankle arthritis? Not necessarily. An ankle replacement, as we said, consists of putting metal pieces inside the ankle to replace that damaged cartilage and bone. As with any material, it can wear down over time, and that may lead to the need for another ankle replacement. And in some cases, the ankle, another ankle replacement may not be done, which would then mean converting that ankle replacement to a fusion. The procedure is usually done um, either as, as an outpatient or as an inpatient procedure. It takes about an hour and a half and it's done under either general anesthesia or sedation plus regional anesthesia to, in, to make the leg numb. That helps tremendously with the post-operative pain. Patients are then placed in a soft cast, which is known as a splint, and are recommended to stay off the foot for about two weeks. Depending on your surgeon, he or she may then have different um, rehabilitation protocols for you. Um, personally, I allow patients to start walking two or three weeks after surgery in a uh, fracture boot or one of those removable boots so that you can start uh, also some range of motion exercises of the ankle. By six to eight weeks, uh, the vast majority of patients are then allowed to transition into a sneaker with or without an ankle brace and start physical therapy to continue working on that range of motion as well as strengthening the ankle. Uh, you will have swelling of the uh, lower extremity, usually for a period of time that can vary between uh, four and 12 months. Uh, but the vast majority of patients by four months are extremely happy with the outcomes of the procedures. Um, I say procedures because many times it's not just about replacing the ankle, but you may need to realign uh, the foot or even the ankle if you had a pre-existing deformity. Realigning the ankle or the foot ensures that the longevity of the ankle replacement is as long as possible. Return to physical activities varies 
tremendously uh, on your age, your weight, your activity level, so on and so forth. Low impact exercises are certainly recommended and many patients can start to resume them two, three weeks after surgery. I'm thinking about stationary bike. Uh, I'm thinking about the elliptical or a rowing machine. Um, swimming, yoga, uh, other uh, low impact exercises can be resumed uh, depending on how you're recovering uh, six to eight weeks after surgery. Certainly not before uh, then. Uh, exercises in a swimming pool can actually be started uh, fairly uh, early, two, three weeks after surgery, as long as the wounds are uh, fully healed. Return to other types of sports, golf, doubles tennis, um, you're looking more at probably three to four months after surgery, whereas high impact activities uh, involving running and jumping are typically contraindicated as they may accelerate the uh, wear of the ankle replacement. So to conclude, are you a candidate for an ankle replacement? If you have end stage ankle arthritis, then you may certainly consider it as long as you have relatively good preoperative range of motion. And that's important because ankle replacements don't necessarily increase your range of motion, but preserve what you had before surgery. Make sure you talk to uh, your orthopedic surgeon about whether or not you are a candidate for an ankle replacement, or if you're a better candidate for uh, another very successful uh, procedure, which is an ankle fusion.